name is Tor. Hi, I'm Genesis. I'm studying business management. And I'm studying communications with a focus in TV and film. I started in Rome and that was the first time I'd ever been in Italy, so it was really just trying to immerse myself in the culture and get to know um, as much as I could about it. And then we moved to Spain and then now we're here in Paris and I would say it's definitely just a lot about perspective. You really don't think about it when, when you're in New York, but when you go to all these places, you talk to the locals, you try the food and you immerse yourself, it really opens up your mind and just shows you like how much bigger the world is than your own little circle that you have back in your, back at school. From Rome to now Paris, I'm definitely an open person, but my mind is like way more open ever since I've been here. We've done so many things, we've seen so many countries, so many beautiful places that I feel like New York, as big of a city that it is, it's just so small now and the world is so big and has so much more to offer than we've ever known and we still have so much to see and I'm like, I'm so excited. I love everything about traveling now. I love trying the foods, I love trying the cultures, I love meeting locals and going to local spots instead of touristy spots now. At first we were really uncomfortable going to just local places, maybe because of the language or just, you know, we're not from the place. So I think now we're just, it's a little easier to, you know, get into the culture. Traveling is fun. fun now. It's yeah, not really a, it's, it's not a chore anymore, it's really cool. So favorite thing in Italy for me was definitely Amalfi Coast. Um, we went to Positano, we went to the beach, and we just saw just so much, so many beautiful sights, and it was almost breathtaking. We went to the top of uh, Mount Solano, and probably for one of the first times when people say, oh, have you ever seen a breathtaking view? When I went up to the top, I lost my breath. It was actually breathtaking. So in Italy, I would say Amalfi Coast, and in Spain, I went to uh, Marbella, and Marbella was also a very beautiful place. The beaches were amazing. And People are really cool. The culture in Spain is definitely a little bit different than Italy, but um, both are very awesome. And for Paris, I'm planning a few trips. I definitely want to stay here a few weeks, but also planning trips to uh, London as well as um, Hungary and Austria. For me, Rome was two things. Definitely the Amalfi Coast was stunning. It's what I imagine paradise is like, and I would love to live there for the rest of my life. And then also the monuments are just amazing. It feels like you're stepping back into like the past completely. You're in history, you're being engulfed in all these things. And Every it's just, corner had something different. Yeah, it's it's seriously amazing. Like you hear about Rome, but it's one thing to hear about it and then it's one thing to see all these monuments and really just take it all in. Um, in Spain, I loved the people, I love the language, the culture was super cool. Everyone was so welcoming and just ready to, you know, take new people in and like kind of party with them or just eat with them. It was really awesome. So the food and then also we went to Portugal, which was I think my favorite trip so far. Um, all of our friends, we all got like a villa together and we went and we went to the beach. We had a full beach day and then we just cooked dinner together and it just brought us all so much closer and you really feel like a family with your GTW program and that's like one of my favorite things overall too. And then Paris, it's just beautiful. I love Paris. <laughs> so I'm just really excited for the future here. I mean, we had a week here and that's when we all first met. We all hung out together under the Eiffel Tower and that was so fun. So I can't wait to like do more little things like that with everyone. There is an advantage, just the way that St. John's is set up in regards to the class, they try to give you a really well-rounded um, resume of classes. So in Rome, I was taking the history of Rome. So we'd go to many different monuments. We'd go to the Pantheon um, and just a bunch of other different places that were really cool. And also being a business major, there are a few business classes here. So it's not that I'm losing any uh, advantages in regards to my major. I can take business classes as well as art classes, philosophy classes that really make you more well-rounded and all, uh, going back to just perspective, it really just opens your mind and you see all the different cultures and how big the world actually is. Yeah, so for I know a bunch of us here, by coming here you get to um, gain a whole minor, you get to gain an international studies minor, which is really cool on a resume. And for me personally, I got all of my cores out of the way, so I'm good to go when I come back. I was even able to take a, like, a core class of mine for a communications major. And it's just really cool because I feel like the classes here are more hands-on. Like regarding the art classes, you get to see all these amazing monuments that 
you know, you would never get to see if you weren't here taking these classes. Exactly. So, really cool. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Bye.